what's up guys welcome back to half man half tech my name is ben your host so finally when it comes to mac os 12.4 i'll be happy to let you know that today we now have the release candidate version also known as the rc or previously known as the gm or golden master version so i'm updating to it today and this update comes roughly about one week and two days after the release of mac os 12.4 beta 4 and you can see for me here on my 2016 macbook pro that it comes in at exactly 1.65 gigs so let's quickly update to it and then i'll be able to show you what are some of the new features and changes that came with this update as there's quite a few and then what our mac updates if we go to safari and head over to the apple developer page you can see that we have ios 15.5 as well as ipad os 15.5 and we have mac os 12.4 release candidate and watch os 8.6 rc as well as tvos 15.5 rc now most of these updates that you are seeing here i do cover on the channel right here at half man half tech so if you do want to keep up to date with ios watch os and mac os and know what's new with these updates then definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out on any of the new changes that came with this update now as you can see here i've actually updated my mac and you can sort of see the new wallpaper something that i'll be getting to shortly and if we go to the about this mac section i just want to show you the new version and build that we have so our version remains 12.4 and if we click on the version you'll be able to see the new build number it's 21 f79 so depicting a final build now if we actually go to see some of the new features and changes that came with this update the first one as you can see here is this new studio wallpaper now if we go into the system preferences and go to desktop mind you that initially when i was uh, on this update after i had updated these uh photos were not showing so i had to sort of refresh and click the add section and then that's when uh like the photos showed up so you might need to do a similar thing if you don't see these photos initially and you can see if you go all the way down just before the solid colors you will see this one and it's called studio color and it's basically for the new studio display so this is a new wallpaper and it's something that you can always check out i believe it's available to all models so if you have an intel mac or if you have an m1 mac or even if you don't have the new studio display you can actually be able to see and use this wallpaper on any external monitor or your macbook so that's something that's good also something that was mentioned in the release notes of this update that i would like to show you if you open up podcast for the first time you will be able to see a new splash screen now it opened up on my main monitor but you can see what it looks like so welcome to podcast future episodes by library played and played downloaded or saved and browse by season and you also have a new settings within podcast so if you click on the podcast section here and go to your preferences you will see that you have uh, this section where it says removed played downloads now download can be removed 24 hours after they are played and basically with podcast in settings you have the ability to limit um, episodes on your mac and automatically delete all the ones in order to save space and there's this playback i believe this was always here with um, mac os 12.3 but just something to look into if you do use the podcast app now that is something that's great now also when when uh, you update to mac os 12.4 and you have the new studio display i believe this is something that has been here on mac os starting from mac os 12.4 the third beta so it's basically the same way you would go to update your mac to the latest mac os version and you have a studio display you actually be able to select a section 
for your studio display and be able to update the firmware version and that is basically possible because the new studio display runs firmware based on ios and powered by an a13 bionic chip allowing it to be able to take updates so that is something that you can always see if you do have that device and it makes it so easy now for the next new change that i have to mention has to do with universal control and i give i gotta give a shout out to uh, apple software updates over on twitter because i had not seen this at all during my search so if you go to your uh, display settings or rather if you go back and uh, go to your universal control you'll be able to see that universal control is no longer in beta now whether this means that you might be able to use universal control with a mac that's already on mac os 12.4 and an ipad that hasn't been updated to ipad os 15.5 that is something you might need to check out or if you have a mac that's not updated and want to see whether you can use universal control with a mac that hasn't been uh, updated to 12.4 then you can always try and see if that is going to work for you so that's something that's good now also if you go into your system preferences where we are right here and go to your keyboard and go to where it says shortcuts actually input sources you can see here that the canadian english no longer has the canadian flag so also if you were to add like a us or something uh that had a flag before you won't be able to see the flag as they have now replaced flags with like symbols so you can see british is just gb australia au and you now no longer have the flags and you can see us here basically just has the text us and us international unlike before where we had individual flags so that is also another change that you might want to look into now if you use safari quite a bit and you use a lot of sites that require you to log in i'll be happy to let you know that with mac os 12.4 Apple has actually improved the passkey technology. So now more sites, third party sites, if developers have added this into them and other third party applications and Apple apps now support passkey. So what this means is that if you have a Mac that has a fingerprint sensor, you can easily sign in if you have the parameters saved into more websites and more applications making your sign in process quite simple now those are most of the new features and changes that came with mac os 12.4 i should bring to your attention that during my uh, previous encounter with mac os 12.4 i did have an issue with my battery so i was not able to do a video but i will just show you what was happening so my mac wasn't connected to a power source but yet it pretended to be charging mind you that my battery was quite dated so i actually went ahead and changed the battery just to be on the safe section so you can see here that on my mac now if we go into system preferences and go back to the battery section you'll be able to see here that you know my uh health is normal and if we go to click here on the section so it's on the power adapter and usually if it's um has something that needs to be serviced you see a service message here which is something that's good and battery health you will see that um, it says condition is normal so i just replaced this like a week ago and i'm in a position to be able to share more information now when it comes to how these betas are performing when it comes to like the battery usage and talking of battery usage let me just share something here with you you can see my uh, screen on time on mac os 12.4 i'm not happy with the battery that i'm getting as you can see i was getting an average of about um four hours now mind you that uh, this was using a lot of zoom so four hours on zoom or so on and just browsing the site so usually i used to get about eight hours on my mac so you can see that it's not the greatest but i have a feeling that this 
mac os 12.4 rc might change for the better i just wanted to show you or share with you when i anticipate the release date of this update so if we open up our calendar you can see that today is may 12 so since we are now on like a weekly release cycle i can sort of expect this update to be released sometime between the 16th to the 19th of may if there is no rc number two so look forward to that if there's another rc then i'll cover it and if the official version comes out i'll also keep you in the loop so this is what's basically changed with mac os 12.4 there are some other new changes or not major ones but quite substantial that i'm going to be covering in the official video when it comes out officially just not so that this video doesn't become too long and for that do stick around and in terms of mac os 13 it could be termed or named to be mammoth but with time we'll be able to tell and i'll be helping you here on the channel basically on june 6 showing you how to update and the safest way to protect your data during the update process so do subscribe and stay safe guys and thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video